Yo, what's up, buddy? Sun Fry here, back in the video, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys my full gun tight offset tight end guide. Now, this is going to be a full video on what I do out of this formation, how to pass protect, how to throw one play touchdowns, how to destroy certain defenses. Now, I'm going to start out with our one play touchdowns, and I'm also going to start out by setting my audibles and setting my formation packages. So, most of you should know this by now, but if you go to tight offset tight end, you just Flick your right stick to the right once. That's going to take you to the halfback one package. That's going to give you four receivers on the field. Way more speed. Now, um, a key about this is if you want to get your best receivers on the outside, like maybe for the one play touchdowns, you want your faster guys. The way you do that is just put your faster receivers at wide receiver three and four. So I wanted DK Metcalf right here for a one play touchdown. So I just went ahead and put him at wide receiver three, I believe. Or actually wide receiver four is on the right. Wide receiver three is on the left. And then wide receiver one and two are these guys in the middle. So that's just another tip for you guys. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to set my audibles. I always set X as Y out, HB swing. And then I'm just going to go ahead and replace um, PA shot seams with Saints halfback wheel. Now, that the, these three plays are pretty much the only plays that I run. Uh, you have spot Saints spot if you want. There's also a one trap, halfback draw, a couple of other good plays. But... Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. Now, if you do have a slot apprentice ability, I would recommend putting him here in the slot uh, just so that you could maybe run a play with two corner routes. Now, unfortunately, we there's we can't do that here, so we're just going to be rocking with classics. Now, uh, these first plays are going to be cover three beaters. I'm going to go ahead and turn off auto flip real quick. But uh, these plays are going to kill cover three. Cover three is the most bummy defense. It's just defense that everybody... All the trash people run you it's really easy to torch now starting out what i'm going to go ahead and do is simply just double team this outside guy so we can scramble out and then you can basically just run it stop or just put b on a streak i'll go over that setup first now i actually kind of like to leave this x deep pose just because it sort of keeps that middle third over on the left side a little bit now um you can you don't need it but uh, like I said in this situation, maybe if I had a slot apprentice, I would put Y on a corner out. Here though, since I don't, I'll just put him on a drag. This is a very basic setup. We're going to roll out, hit B on this streak route. Now, for whatever reason, I feel like I get cleaner releases if I go ahead and I'm clicked onto this receiver. I like sort of uh, flick my left stick over, but sometimes you guys see that Metcalf does get bumped there. He doesn't, but um, that's just another weird tip that I have for whatever reason. If you're like clicked on, they get a better release. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but I've had better success doing it that way. And as you guys see, Metcalf did get over the defense. Once again, all I'm doing is just putting Y on a drag, B on a streak, and I'm gonna go ahead, slide my pass protection to the right, and double team this outside guy. Go ahead, snap the ball here, roll out. And you guys see, look how much space we have to throw that dot. Russell Wilson doesn't even have great arm strength, but we're still able to get that. Um, when you're throwing this deep ball, keep in mind that you want to pass lead this all the way to the right hand side. That's basically just going to give you the best trajectory on the ball. And it's just going to give you the best chance to complete it. Again here, roll out, throw this all the way to the right side. We do get an overthrow, but you guys can tell that he is open and that this play is cash money. Now, that's pretty much going to do it for our first play. Now let's just head into our second play. It's going to also beat cover three out of the same exact play. All we're going to do this time is just use this deep post route instead of a deep streak. Now, my favorite setup for this is simply just leave the corner out and we just have two drags from our slot guy on the left and our outside guy on the right. Um, just a lot of times the users are going to go ahead, follow that other guy, but you guys see Josh Gordon getting over the top of the defense. Josh Gordon's pretty very slow in this, uh, which is the reason you see him getting caught, but definitely keep that in mind. I might actually just go ahead and flip the play real quick, see if we can um, get some more speed on our field. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip that so we get Metcalf there. Now, you can definitely run this on the short side. You don't have to run it on the wide side um, for this deep post to work. It's definitely better if you run the streak one on the wide side. But for this one, it might actually be better just because of how long it takes this post route to develop. Um, it might actually be better if you go ahead and run that on the short side. So I might actually just try to show that real quickly by moving this ball sorry about all this movement but like i said here i'm gonna go ahead and flip it, it might not be as open because that safety's already over there but 
should get open because he's going to go ahead shift to the middle of the field anyway. You guys might think, oh, there's a safety on the left side. I can't run a one-play touch on that side. And that might be the case for the streak ones. But for these deep posts that come across the middle, the safeties tend to move back to the middle of the field anyway. So it doesn't really have that big of an impact on the play. And like I said, I like to just put two drags on the field. Utilize that corner route in case he does use the deep post. You have an extra route. You could run something like this where you just put A on a curl. You have a drag. You could just put X on a hitch. Uh, you can really just do a lot of things with these one play touchdowns if he is catching on But the only two things that are needed are this corner out and this deep post just because the Corner out is going to go ahead pull down that outside third just enough so you can bomb it to your deep post or streak over the top now um, mo Staying with this play uh, Like I said a very basic setup to get just get over the top of these Zones is just going to be two drags the drag is going to pull down the curl flat or cloud flat and You're going to easily be able to hit that corner out uh, if you want to get even more fancy with it, a better way that you could actually run this is just put B on a streak, Y on a drag. You basically have your one play touchdown and then you can still go ahead, uh, hit this corner out, hit this player. Now obviously there, cover three. Uh, the outside third is actually going to do a pretty good job against the A corner out just because of how open that one play touchdown is. But definitely against cover two and I'm actually going to switch defenses. I don't want to go against cover three every down. But like I said, against other defenses, cover two. Um, some other plays you guys will see these corner outs get open actually we'll just go to a classic cover two here and I could just go ahead run the play stock and you will see that if you wait long enough that cloud flat's gonna go ahead and break off and it's gonna be a huge gain which is such a reason why this corner out is definitely the best in the game because of the ability to where you can just come out and this play stock roll out but wait long enough you guys see I'm waiting super long almost till he passes that red line uh, before I go ahead and make that pass just because if I don't then he's gonna easily be able to click on Make a play on the ball like if I throw it right here He could have easily clicked on you guys see it's a pick um, And he's taking that back for six So you would definitely have to wait be very patient with this Which is why I like another route coming across the field because sometimes that's gonna go ahead pull it down earlier But if he stays up top, let's say he has a soft squat shades outside shades Over the top then you might be able to go ahead and hit that drag route uh, move saying with this setup I showed earlier where you put your B receiver on a streak Y on a drag what I like to do is just put X on a curl now in a set like this I feel, I'm pretty sure he's running either cover two or cover four So the one play touchdowns aren't really gonna work So I kind of have X on a useless route if he's on that curl or that deep post So I'm just gonna go ahead and put him on a curl You could also go ahead put him on maybe a deep in now if I'm on, on this deep in route I like to go ahead motion him out and sort of motion snap him just so I have more space to operate with that you guys see a getting open I actually did throw that late but um, he does stay on the sideline so you could still obviously swerve catch that and go ahead pick up the yardage so again that setup's just gonna be be on a streak while on a drag X on an in route smart out it motion him out now the motion definitely does throw off your opponents as well keep that in mind but there you guys see just throwing it over the top that's like a 30 plus yard gain um, just from that small little corner route so it's very difficult for your opponent to defend and that's just what makes this slot apprentice so good if you have it on one of these guys then you can go ahead put this guy on the corner out your opponents let's say he's using this right side you could just go ahead fake roll out there roll out all the way over here and then you could easily hit Y like I said I can't really show that in practice mode but that there is some other setups for that now um, that's pretty much it for wild HB swing those are like the only two setups I run um, out of the play, but you could definitely mix it up. Uh, actually, I do sort of have another setup I like to go to just to actually lowball this corner out. Now, I'm not sure if it's that good against cover two, but it's basically just a put B on a zig and Y on a hitch. This is a great play to go to in the red zone. I like to motion out the zig a little bit, and you guys see, um, actually, I should have threw that to A, but um, not against cover two, against cover three, the low ball should be open. I'm actually going to switch defenses. I, like I said, I don't want to go against cover two every play, but um, keep in mind that those corner outs will absolutely destroy man coverage as well, but not going to show it. Um, let's just go ahead, come out in a random zone coverage defense. So we get some different looks now. Uh, quarters three deep. I guess I'm just going to move into the inside zone anyway, but inside zone, I like to mix it in a lot. Now, big dime. It's, I, if you're coming against Big Dime 146, I definitely like to mix it in just to see if this guy um, does have the user to shoot the gap with the safety. 
Um, Big Dime 146, a ton of people are going to go ahead, user that safety. And if they don't have a good user, you should be able to go ahead and run all over them. Now, when I'm running inside zone, I like to motion out either this outside guy or that other outside guy. Um, for whatever reason, it just sets up the blocks. You guys see, look at Marshawn. He should be gone to the house. He is super slow, though, so that's not going to happen. But you guys see, look how big that hole is right there. Super easy to just run through and pick up a huge gain of yardage. You guys see, I'm just motioning Metcalf over, motion snapping him a little bit. And even though I'm not scoring a touchdown every down, I'm still picking up um, great gains of yardage. And it's definitely going to go ahead and put in work. Another way, you could sort of bluff it as a max protect. You could just motion snap him. Now, might that actually be better if you just let him set there because he whiffed on that block big time. So... Um, a lot of times when you're max protecting, as I am in the wrong play anyways, so it looks like we're just snapping this. A gets actually wide open, but um, a max protect bluff out of this is where you just go ahead and motion this opposite side receiver to the opposite side with Josh Gordon right here. I'm going to let him get set, make it look like I'm passing the ball. Boom, I'm running inside zone. Pretty good blocks now. It is difficult for me to run this ball with Marshawn because of how slow he is, but you guys pretty much get the gist. Super basic inside zone. Basically the only run that you're going to run out of the tight offset tight end. There's a trap, there's a draw, but um, nobody really runs those, so I'm not going to go over them. I don't run them personally. And yeah, so next play I want to go over is Saints halfback wheel. This is the pass I probably use the second most, and it is a very good pass, especially in the red zone, but... Um, just to mix it up, your opponent, sees, let's say he's going to be playing for wide out HB swing. He's playing for that corner out. Um, a great play to mix in is the Saints halfback wheel. Now, this play is not in the Packers playbook. The Packers playbook actually is the only other playbook with tight offset tight end. In case you didn't know, but the Saints halfback wheel, all I'm going to go ahead and do is put X on a flat route or the receiver on a flat route to the side of the running back. In our case, this side now, you also want to run this to the running back's short side. So... Here, you guys see Lynch is on the left. I'm running it to the short side, which is going to be the left. And basically, all, your, all the only other thing you're going to go ahead and do is just put B on a zig. We have a high-low on this right-left side. And usually, I'm just looking towards this left side. You guys see, look at how open Marshawn is. Errant throw there by Wilson, but he's so open. I actually kind of like to stay in the pocket for this one, so I'm not sure why I scrambled. But you're going to go ahead, just put X on a flat, B on a zig. And then you could go ahead and double team this guy to the outside because you sort of want to shift over there. Look how open that is. I could, I probably should have even bulleted that. But um, typically the look I like to go to is just going to be uh, low ball, pass lead to the inside. That's probably your best bet to complete this pass, especially in the red zone. Um, this is similar to the play out of mesh post. You guys see, boom, he's wide open. I should have even threw that earlier. But um, overall, just a great route this wheel route super glitchy and you could even go ahead sort of distract him let's say you get his user over there with the running back you can go ahead hit your zig route maybe hit your corner route like i said if you have a slot apprentice then you could go ahead and maybe put lock it on a corner route make this play a little bit better because you know that he's going to be following this wheel route uh there i forgot to put x on a flat and that's obviously going to be our result we actually do complete the pass but you definitely need X on a flat or an out route to go ahead, bait down that zone, and just put B on a zig, snap the ball here, go ahead, lurk. Now this looks like match coverage, so the wheel actually will be bagged. In that case, I would have rolled over to the right, but since I don't have a slot apprentice, nothing's really going to kill match coverage out of the same tap back wheel. Uh, anyway, that's going to take us to our next play, bench. Now bench is actually very good against cover two, so I want to get a cover two look really quickly so let's go ahead head and get into that real quick and this uh, where's bench there we go now, I don't really run this bench play too much but uh, I've heard that it's good against cover two it'll just come out in this base Tampa two now you just go ahead run it stock and I'm pretty sure this corner out does get over perfectly look at how great that route is he's super deep down the field to where it's almost impossible for a cloud flat to play it now uh, this out route definitely does help pulling down the cloud flat, but uh, actually looks like the one on the left is going to be a little bit deeper. So you could go ahead, easily hit that. Look at how great. And he can only use her one side of the field. This was on the short side. You guys saw me running on the wide side. Keep in mind, uh, he can only use her one side of the field. So if he's just running stock cover two, this play is absolutely going to kill it. Let's say um, corner out's dry, uh, covered. I easily just threw that out route and picked up 
10 yards uh, an automatic first down so just stock all, the only adjustment that I'm doing is as I have a wide open but can't get rid of the ball the only adjustment I'm doing is blocking my running back uh, it's way better it's better if you roll out but you could go ahead and sit in the pocket to make sure he does not use it and you could really throw it to either side just see what side he's using try to roll out to the other one I know that might be difficult but you go ahead run something like this to get a chop block on this left side just double team that guy ID this guy roll out and throw that late I cross the line of scrimmage but you guys pretty much get the gist this play is gonna kill cover two it's not that good against cover three but um, definitely a unique play that I don't think gets a much uh, as much appreciation out of the tight offset as it should but with that being said this is gonna go ahead do it for today's video if you guys did enjoy please make sure you leave a like on the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and make sure you guys follow me on twitter link will be in the description i keep updates with that i tweet every time that i do upload so in case you don't have notifications on or whatever the case is you can go ahead stay updated with my twitter and peace i'm out of here